so the question asks this clinical picture is seen in which poisoning so this clinical picture shows raindrop pigmentation so this are the raindrop pigmentation which is common on the trunk which is seen with arsenic poisoning so today we would be seeing features of arsenic poisoning a very interesting and easy way to remember features of arsenic poisoning i'm sure you would love it so here we have a story which we have created on arsenic poisoning so there's a hippie female named marsh rinch gutsy so she is a hippie female who likes to go out partying eating out so one day she decides to go out for dinner and she gets ready for the party so she puts nail paint this nail paint is like the mees lines the aldrich mees lines which are seen on nails in arsenic poisoning she puts nail paint she puts mehndi the mehndi is like hyper keratosis which is again seen in arsenic poisoning then she wears the black footwear so we see black foot disease in arsenic poisoning now she decides to go out for dinner she is ready for the party when she goes out there is rain so she gets raindrop pigmentation on the way because of the rainfall so she gets raindrop pigmentation once she reaches the venue she reaches the pub she likes eating chinese so she orders garlic noodles so the order is garlic order then we have desserts which are ordered by her so she orders red velvet cake so red velvet is the appearance of the stomach mucosa in arsenic poisoning so garlic order red velvet then she drinks water once you drink water outside which is contaminated you get cholera so she gets cholera so the features in arsenic poisoning are like cholera and her health deteriorates suddenly because of cholera so to rescue her because of the heavy rainfall we have fairy which comes to rescue her so this fairy is actually ferric oxide which is the antidote for arsenic poisoning now once you have arsenic it goes and deposits in the liver the maximum so we get yellow fatty liver so yellow fatty liver is seen with arsenic poisoning which then progresses to non cirrhotic portal fibrosis so non cirrhotic portal fibrosis is seen with arsenic poisoning so for acute poisoning we will sample liver now with chronic ingestion of arsenic finally she dies what is the fatal dose 100 to 200 mg so the fatal dose is 100 to 200 mg and when the patient dies arsenic delays rigor mortis and putrefaction so delay in putrefaction is seen with arsenic poisoning and once the patient dies if you want to know that it was because of arsenic poisoning you will not take blood sample because arsenic leaves from the blood very soon you will not take liver sample but you can sample bones hair and nails so remember the mummies bones hair and nails so you can sample those after death for arsenic poisoning so these are the features of arsenic poisoning easy way to remember let's revise quickly so a happy female named marsh rinch gutsy who likes to go out and partying she gets ready for party she puts the nail paint those are the mees lines she puts the mehndi that is hyperkeratosis she wears the black footwear that is black foot disease when she goes to the venue there is rainfall so she gets raindrop pigmentation in the restaurant in the pub she orders garlic noodles that is garlic order red velvet mucosa then she drinks water so she gets cholera then to rescue her we have fairy 
that is ferric oxide is antidote then you get yellow fatty liver where the arsenic deposits so acute poisoning you sample liver chronic poisoning or after that you sample bones hair and nails that is the mummies fatal dose is 100 to 200 mg and it delays the putrefaction or rigor mortis so important points about arsenic poisoning very very important for your exam